can't go to the bathroom right now. No! No! I promise, sir, a llama ate my shorts. Okay, weirdo. Sometimes I wonder about you. Listen, can you bring those lists down to my room in a few minutes? Your your room? Yeah, we've got a meeting in 15 minutes. A meeting? Hello, is this thing on? This is Jennifer or Sharon, right? I didn't accidentally call the Grand Canyon because I'm getting an echo in here. We've been planning this for weeks, you know, the Bobcat Bolt me. Wait, are you telling me it's 8.45? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I'm late for school! I want nothing to do with the Bobcat boat this year, and that's fine. And if I have my say about it, we won't have the ridiculous Bobcat boat. But Rhonda, you're the heart of the Bobcat boat. We can't do this without you. Well, good. My decision is final, and that's all I have to say about that. I can't believe it. It's like Rhonda's lost all her pep. It's like she's had a pep to me. What are we going to do? I have an idea. Let's meet in the spot after school. Your big idea was to hang out in the parking lot? No. My big idea was that. What did you do to my... Relax. It was kind of a piece of junk anyways. I made a few... Upgrades. Let me show you. This tells you where you want to go. This tells you where you are. And this tells you where you've been. And this, that's what gets you there. It's called the flux capacitor. Well, that gets you there plus 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. That's what makes time travel possible. Wait. Wait. Are you telling me that you made a time machine out of my minivan? I call it the Delora van. I played around with Chrysler Lorian, but that was kind of a mouthful. Anyway, it's like you said, we've got to go back and do something about Rhonda. She has no pep. Clearly something has happened to her that caused a rip in the space-time continuum. And if we don't fix it, the bolt could be gone forever. The space-time what? Just. Trust me, it's a little bit science, a little bit math, and a whole lot of you wouldn't understand. Well, I don't even know where we start. The school was open 30 years ago. I think that was 1988. Great, Jenna Scott, that's it. We gotta go back to the beginning. Oh, oh, and one more thing. I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you this. No matter what, you cannot run into your past self from 1988. If you do, that could instantaneously send us hurtling through space-time, and it would make your hair, well, even frizzier, and make the air taste like pennies. You and your space-time mumbo-jumbo. I really think you just like saying that word. Are you ready? Let's do it. Only, I've been in the car with you enough. I'm gonna go get in the back. <laughs>
video here with a hand for lunch today. Pizza. Gag me with a spoon. Uh, uh, hi there. You wouldn't happen to know what year it is, would you? The, it's 1988. What year do you think it is? Never mind. Um, is there a Miss Madden that works here? Oh, totally. Her classroom is right down there. She's the most awesome, radical, vocacious teacher ever. And she's leading our first ever Bobcat Bowl fundraiser this year. You've been extremely helpful. What's your name? Miss Mandanix. It's a name to remember. One of these days, I'm going to run this school. Yeah, right, Amanda. No, she's right. She is going to be principal. Principal? I like the sound of that. Uh, come on, Jen. we got things to do. Her. Look at that hair. I think that this is the pep rally before the first Bobcat Bolt. Get the ball, Dan. I'll share it when you reach it. Come on, Tyler. I never get the ball. One day I'll be a gym teacher and everyone will get a turn. Someday everyone will get a turn. Hey Dan, wanna see how hard I can throw this ball? Rhonda turns against the bolt. We gotta fix this now. Besides, I can't take another second of tubular and radical. Plus, all these neon colors are really hurting my eyes. We've gotta fix Rhonda. Yeah, that too. But what are we gonna do? <gasps> we, we gotta save, save the, the bolt! Whoa, what is that thing? It's so small and thin. How do you fit a cassette in it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's from Japan. It's so small you don't even need a cassette. Check this out. Yep. Do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you and I need you And I'm down for you always, KB Do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave Rhonda, don't let a little embarrassment get you down. You're the most, like, tubular teacher ever, and you've got more spirit than anybody I know. Thanks, Miss Snakes. You're right. I've got to keep this Bobcat boat alive. Time Miss Nix pulled it off, but still. Oh no, but wait! We left the time machine back in 1988! Great, Jenna Scott! Like, 
Seriously, guys.